Duncanville High School has had its fair share of talent on the basketball court over the years. But in 1997, the Panthers produced arguably the most athletic player to ever lace him up here in the Metroplex. Chris Owens had God-given ability that few will ever know. This week's North Texas Honda Dealers Inside Story takes a look back at how he dominated the competition. I never thought about being different. I remember my seventh grade coach, he told me, if you dunk, you know, I'm a, I'll take you to a state dinner. You're just thinking if you want to do something, you know, you want to do something fun. The former parade All-American from Duncanville had plenty of fun as he terrorized opponents back in the late 90s. Today, Owens is the head coach of Bishop Dunn High School, trying to impart the valuable lessons that he's learned through his experiences on the basketball court. You know, I really want to be able to kind of give back to the community and work with kids, and I want to also be connected with basketball because that's part of my, my grassroots. So, you know, it is just, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think the biggest thing is being able to help young boys, mature and young men, to be productive citizens in society. I think that's more important than anything because we don't have a lot of influential men for a lot of these boys. And, you know, growing up, I didn't have, like, the visual, like, yeah, it was Michael Jordan, but I didn't have nobody who was right there that I could kind of, like, emulate. He was drafted in the second round by the Milwaukee Bucks. A series of knee surgeries eventually killed his dreams of playing in the NBA. But looking back, he admits that may well have been a blessing in disguise. You know, my agent called me one day a few months later and said, hey, I got an opportunity for you in, um, in Italy if you want to go. And um, at that time, I was like, my first time, I was like, no. I was like, I turned down a big offer from Greece, and I was like, no, but that was ego. And then a few more months go by, and then I'm like, yeah, I want to play and get back in the play, and I go to Italy, and that's where I say I really got better as a basketball player. While overseas, Owens got a chance to visit Munich, Germany, and visit Olympic Stadium. As the great nephew of Jesse Owens, it was a cathartic experience to see the very grounds that his famous uncle made history on. I got to see the name of the street after him, Jesse Amonestraza, and then I got to see where he, you know, spent time in the, um, in the dormitories and then where he raced. So I took a couple tours and helped out with his foundation that, um, that he still has there or in his name. So it was a great experience. Extremely proud. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like it's my responsibility to, you know, uphold that legacy and, you know, how I carry myself and helping kids and just push the common goal of hum humanity forward. Great stuff there. And we had Chris here in studio for our 25th anniversary special. I'm going to tell you what, he still looks like he could throw down some dunks today.